Some time ago, I heard of one of the former presidents of my country talking about how he became president. He said something like, I thank God for using a bacha to send me to the prison. A bacha was a military dictator who crushed so many people in my country, Nigeria. Yet one of the men he intended to crush became the president because he was sent to the prison. Economic crisis is like a prison. It's a difficult time and so many people are going to be crushed. However, a few people will escape and become stronger. So many businesses will die, but a few businesses will not only survive, but thrive and grow 10 times bigger. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you three industries that may become bigger after this pandemic. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Remote Working Tools Just 20 years ago, the term working from home was almost unheard of because it was nearly impossible to work from home. The internet was just emerging. Between the year 2005 and 2019, the concept of working from home became more and more popular every year. But there was a problem. The problem was it was employees who wanted to work from home. Most companies didn't see why they should let people work from home. As a result, most companies couldn't invest their resources in tools needed to make working remotely possible. That changed as we entered the year 2020. Not only are employees and everyone desiring to work from home, companies that have no plan for remote staffing are confessing their sins and wishing they had done something about it earlier. I am an entrepreneur and as I write this, I am working on tools that will make it super possible for my company to have at least 80% of our staff able to work remotely. This is important because nobody can tell when next the world will have to be indoors like we saw with COVID-19. If you have an idea about tools that can help businesses and people work remotely, now is the time to work hard on such because billions of dollars will be spent worldwide in the next few years to make remote staffing a regular theme. 2. Online Education Industry A few years before Steve Jobs died, he was worried that technology and the internet had changed everything in the world except our educational system. I personally have strong opinions about what we call educational system. I think we're wasting so much time in the classroom to learn what we can learn on the go. For example, I've watched two educative videos on YouTube today, which taught me what 18 years of school didn't. Those videos came to me at the comfort of my home at a convenient time. What is education if it's not learning? Why should I pay thousands of dollars and waste four years to learn in the university what I could learn in one year with a few hundred dollars? And to some of you who are thinking about getting a degree, don't worry about that. Online education is either going to figure out accreditation or employers will stop looking at degrees. Yes, many of the biggest companies have started looking less on people's degrees and more on their track records. I never hire people because they have degrees. If you think the era of real education won't come, I tell you, it will, and nobody knows how close. So, how can you benefit from this revolution? Well, if you are a tutor of any kind, you don't have to wait till tomorrow. You can start being part of the massive billion dollars online educational industry today. Many people are here on YouTube simply teaching what they know and making thousands of dollars doing so. The internet is already filled with many educational platforms and you can join those platforms as a tutor or create your own. You can also create an innovative tool to help this revolution. Nobody knows how far you can go, but you can start somewhere. 3. Digital Marketing Industry I know about traditional marketing. Everyone does. It's simple. You go to a newspaper, radio or television and tell them what you want to sell. They ask you to pay tens of thousands or even millions of dollars and they start helping you to interrupt everyone. These guys have no clue who they are running your ads to. They just make the noise and hope someone buys your product. Claude C. Hopkins wrote in Scientific Advertising, Nothing in the world wastes money than advertising. Hopkins had the idea about why advertising wastes money. His idea is that advertising wastes money because ads were not well written. I mean, poor marketing strategies. Well, 
Hopkins died in 1932, long before the advent of massive TV ads. With TV ads came another problem. People are interrupted every minute of the day and everyone hates that. Now, let's talk about the internet and digital marketing. How many times have you seen an ad online and feel, wow, I need this? Well, when my wife delivered our first child, I saw an ad on Facebook about a development app. I bought it immediately. What makes digital marketing different from traditional marketing is the fact that digital advertising can deliver ads to the people who are looking for your products. For example, you can go to Google or Facebook and ask them to help you look for people who have babies because you have a baby product. Google or Facebook can help you look for people who are interested in science, public speaking, even Coca-Cola, everything and anything. So why would digital marketing industry boom after this pandemic? Well, many companies will be broke and because they are broke, they would want to maximize every dollar they are spending. This will mean that they spend more on the platform that knows their customers instead of wasting millions on TV, which only interrupts people. If you're thinking about starting a digital marketing agency, now is the time to do that. If you have any idea that has something to do with the digital marketing industry, you may want to start that now. I hope this video helps someone. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. We love you.